hey, y'all, we've been on adventures and tours and this and that. We're showing you flights and trains and whatnot. We're going to give you kind of like a day in the life of what it's like to travel full time with two kids. Um, I miss the morning, but usually they wake up before we do because they'll get up like at 6 a.m. In Scotland here, the, I mean, at 5 a.m., it's already light. But they usually wake up between like 6 and 6.30. Um, we'll leave cereal out for them. We're about to go to the park, so they're acting kind of crazy right now. We'll leave cereal out for them. They can go in. They can watch some cartoons in the morning. <clears throat> then we wake up, um, have some more breakfast. And now we're actually, they had some snack breakfast, but we're going to go eat um, at our little favorite spot here in Shawlands. So... Just kind of follow along, give you a, a day in the life of what it's like traveling with two kids full time. Ryan likes his sticks. Keeps them right there because you can't bring them inside. All right, guys, let's get loaded up. Okay. okay. Ryan always sits in the back because he's heavier. It's easier to get over curbs. Eddie's in the front. She sometimes needs some help. This is our juvie stroller we've had this whole trip. We get a lot of looks around here because uh, I guess double strollers like that just aren't as common. I don't know. But here and in Italy and in Asia, we got a lot of looks. Just like people like, oh, that's that's cool. I like some bad looks like, oh, stupid, stupid Americans. <clears throat> This is our little neighborhood here in Glasgow. That's the area of Shawlands, kind of in the south. We like it. When he's kind of nearby, the end of the street is a park. So yeah, welcome to the day in the life of the traveling Texans. Jumpy place. No, what's your favorite country? Bali. You like Bali? Yeah. I like Bali. I like two places. This this place and Bali. So it's easier for Heidi to be in the front because she's lighter. Come here. Come here. Hey, what I want you all to do is stay on this side of the tree, okay? And I don't want you to go so far into those bushes, okay? That's too far, and we can't see you. But if I was just on no, no. Yeah, don't go that far, okay? I don't go past those two little trees over there. I don't go over yeah, there? don't go to those bushes. You can go to, like, to these trees or something. But I want you all to stay. Hey, buddy. I want y'all to stay on this side but of this if, tree. If we had a picnic over there, we could go. Over yeah, if we had a picnic, yeah. Okay. okay. We love to play over here, but we have to set some boundaries just so we can see him. What? When I was a dog? No, I don't know. You visited a dog. Yes. No, I had wooden ones. <laughs> Tons of questions every day. Do you have that? Um, what do you want? Napkin? What's that? That's mom's. Do you see 
milkshake and then one of these. Um, no milkshakes. Well, it's mine. Well, we just need one fork, okay? Well, I already put yours over here. The trees. Well, how did they be like that? Because the leaves are all like that and they have gravity. Yeah. Huh? Well, they have to really hit that push up. Our push up, our squat. Yeah. I was counting, I was counting, I was like, whoa. That's a good job. Two, three, four, five. Hey, we need to go Okay, we just finished breakfast. So um, we are walking to the park. It's just at the end of our street, so really easy. Scotland's had really nice parks and good playgrounds for the kids. So we come here probably two or three times a week. Um, the kids will play and it's just a good place for them to run around and see other kids and just get out of the house. Get their wiggles out. Get their wiggles out. Um, this little park area has a little pond. So we bought some food for the ducks and birds and we've done it, we fed them twice. So we're leaving tomorrow, we're gonna to use the rest of our food. And then, um, but this is kind of a normal day. If it's sunny, we'll get out and about. If it's kind of cold or overcast, we'll do some stuff inside. Um, usually the kids nap around two o'clock. So, well, I guess around one o'clock. So we'll try and do all of our morning activities and then by the time they wake up, it's kind of time just to start doing evening you know, stuff and clean up, get ready for dinner. So here's our park. How are you going to feed the ducks? What did we see at this pond? I don't know. Do you remember? A mama duck and her face. Yeah. Okay, so here's the little pond area. If you throw it, they will come. Okay, do you guys want to hop out? So this is in Queens Park. Glasgow in the Shawlands neighborhood. Oh. No, not the pigeons. Feed the ducks. That's right, Heidi, you don't have to pick it up. It's a full-time job keeping them entertained and making sure they don't fall in the water. I know, Heidi, I don't want you to fall in. Here, back up a little bit, okay? We came here for dinner, I think last week. We just stopped at the co-op, the grocery store, picked up some stuff and had a little picnic on that bench over there. And uh, we were here like a kid was playing by the pond here with uh, his brother or friend who fell in. Luckily it's not deep. He was able to get out real quick, but imagine it's cold. It's in the 50s right now.
let's get away from the water. I need this. Get me, <sighs> yeah, so I think we're going to do the playground next. We'll probably go out to the park and just do things outside, maybe like 50% or so of the time. Uh, Sometimes it's just at home. I have to work, or Megan will bring him to the park so I can work. And um, yeah, we'll just do things at home. Draw, color, use your imagination, play with the toys or things that aren't toys, like um, boxes and whatnot, it's crazy. Kids are up from their naps. Uh, Megan called her dad, FaceTime with her dad for a bit. Um, we talk to our parents at least once a week. Yeah. But this is what the kids do. So we have this living room. They still trash it. But it gets too loud in here, so we banish them down here. I guess it wasn't sneaky enough. I don't know. Here's where we do our laundry. So now they run into our rooms. All right, guys, y'all can come back in here. We're going back at the sticks in these clips. Wait. Yeah. So like laundry or something. And sticks. This is what they play with. But of course, Heidi's got her baby. She always has the baby. And clips. Um, uh, All right. So what are we eating today? I know. Sausage. Sausage is the French fries. Look at this camera. What do they call French fries in Scotland? What do we call it here? How did they make sausage? It's a long process. Huh? It's a long process. Chips? They call, yep, chips. And they call cookies biscuits. Right. What do they call? What are they called? Chips, like a bag of chips. You know what they call them? I Crisp. That's right. All right. So yeah, we ordered some fish and chips. Kids got sausage. Most of the time, I mean, we're just living abroad. A lot of the times, we just eat. You know, we we cook here at home. So I'd probably say about seventy-five percent of the time, we cook at home. Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, sometimes we'll go eat out or order in. Today's our last day in Glasgow, so we're just kind of making it easier, not make a mess in the kitchen. We're definitely ordering in. We, we almost always do this on our last day is we, we order in, so we, uh, so we don't make a mess in the kitchen or anything. But yeah, so we got some fish and chips. Kids got sausage. More sausage? Yeah. So that's what we do for uh, what they call here supper. That was dessert. Good. How is it? Good. How is it? It's good. What do we get, Ryan? No, I need to say how is it, and you need to say good. Oh, okay. How is it? Good. How is it? Good. <laughs> what, do, what do we get? Cake. Sticky. Sticky toffee, toffee pudding. I think they call any dessert a pudding here. Yeah, they were being loud and crazy. Now they're quiet. Sticky toffee for the win. Hey, now what time is it, Heidi? Bath time. It is. Can you put grandma in the bath? No, we can't put grandma in the bath. Huh? That's not just grandma on that camera. Who's gonna take a bath first? Me. All okay. right. Okay. Me. Okay. Oh, me, me, me. What's after bath time? Um, I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. What are we wearing to bed tonight? So you're getting Let's go in the back. Yes. So normally they'll wear PJs, but since tomorrow's a travel day, we're leaving in the morning. They'll sleep in their clothes tonight. 
so we don't have to fight with them tomorrow morning about getting dressed. So tonight, after bath time, I'm just gonna put on the clothes they're gonna travel in tomorrow. Makes it so much easier. Is that right? Yep. Hey. And less laundry. This is also part of daily life because we have a little refrigerator here. The littlest person knows how to open the refrigerator and get stuff out. So we walk into the kitchen and just always find it open. At least she can get her own snacks, but she doesn't always remember to close the fridge. Hey, what are y'all doing now? Heidi, what are you doing? So Ryan can still, Ryan can brush his own teeth, but Hattie's still, Hattie's still working on hers. But she does a pretty good job there. When they're not watching TV, Ryan, pause it please. Ryan. You want what? No, 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 no. You carry you like a hobo? Yeah. You want dad to carry you or mom to carry you? Go like this. Carry me like a hobo. Okay. Carry you like a hobo? Yeah. Love you. Okay. Let's go hobo. No, with the blanket. With the blanket? Like with this one? No. I'll bring it back. Okay, right. go be a hobo. Bring your blanket. Right. Ready? Oh, ready? <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Tuck your feet in. Okay. All right, say goodnight. Good night, hobo. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Hobo. Good night, Hobo. What was that? Is that going to put a present in her face? I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. So now what do we do? Tell them what we do. Um, so now Heidi goes to bed, so we set a... Timer. You set a timer for you? I just set it like this in bed. So we're going to set your timer. And then what do you do when your timer goes off? Turn TV off. And we go to bed. Pause it or do you want me to pause it? Tomorrow we wake up so we can watch Wolf Man. Good night, Hobo. Good night, Hobo. I love you. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, tone drop. <laughs> and that's how we put the kids to bed on some nights. It just happens. Megan was just rummaging around in the freezer. I don't know why. Kids are in bed. Oh, man. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so we get ice cream after the kids are going to bed. Don't show them this. All right, folks. So that's our little day in the life of like the traveling Texans. We're a full-time traveling family. We usually stay each place for a month. It's not always exciting. It's not always, you know, adventures and everything. We're not millionaires. Uh, you know, I'm still working remotely. Um, and yeah, it's right now it's been cheaper than living in the U.S., so that's nice. And that's just a little glimpse into our day. We appreciate y'all following along. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you go like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.